Today, my uncle and his friend from Pennsylvania came out. They're gonna be coming out for the rut to hunt bucks here in Iowa. They decided to come out this weekend. They're gonna do some scouting and they're also trying to get a doe. So this weekend, we're doe hunting. Today, what I did is I set up on an alfalfa field. We got a northwest wind. We're in the southeast corner of it, so we're in the perfect spot. I got some shooting lens. I know that there's a nice scrape across the field right here. It's about 55 degrees. Winds are low. We got beautiful cloud cover. There's no chance of rain. And we're doe hunting, baby. Day two, we're bow hunting. Same field that we were on last night, doing a little doe management once again. Saw nine does last night, but of course when you're hunting does, you're not gonna get a shot at the doe. It's about 58 degrees. Sun's out today. Still hoping that something comes out here in this corner. Of course, if a big swinging walks out, we're gonna punch the ticket. Stay tuned. Extreme Element Outdoors, brought to you by Hot Tamales. America's number one cinnamon candy. Get with the f***ing program. Day three of doe management. Last night, had a chance at a doe, right when I was about to pull back. Buck decided to walk out. And the buck was a nice buck. It was a really nice buck. It was just with it being the second day that I wasn't gonna take it. Definitely one I would take later in the season. Tonight, we're on a green grass field. 
It looks like a half-assed food plot. Credit to myself. It's been raining all day. It just stopped raining. Hopefully it stays this way. Deer should come out. I've seen 10 deer and every single one of them has gotten right up on me. And I can't shoot them because by the time I see them, they see me. Go during early muzzleloader that borders up to the piece of ground that I think he beds on. We tried to hunt him hard during early muzzleloader. Had to go back to work. Worked off some more vacation time. And we're back at it tonight. Should be a good evening. Wind's blowing directly away from the bedding area. I'm pretty pumped. Let's see what tonight's all about. Got a limb. 
shot her right here, but she was little, so I didn't know. Then I got kind of trigger happy, so. Unfortunately, I didn't do a good job of clearing the shooting lanes, and Chad missed out on an opportunity because of it. But the good news is that Chad ended up killing a really nice buck later in November. Anyways, that evening, on my way into my stand, there was a big buck walking right towards my stand 100 yards out, and I was caught in the middle of a grass field. that creek then he had to have laid down my stands 70 yards from him we got high winds i think i can drop down this creek get to my stand and we'll try to ground him in he could have easily crossed the creek and busted off or saw me be, be long gone but we're gonna assume the best case scenario we're gonna play this safe Well, I think it's safe to say that that buck wasn't there because me being a professional deer calling champion, world champion, I mean, if he was there, he would have came in. I mean, he'd have been at the base of my tree. I probably would have just been able to catch him with the hook. I was some kind of frustrated. My wind is swirling down here, which I didn't think it would, but it's swirled, which is never good. All right, Halloween night. I just got back from the stand and I didn't see anything other than a few does a couple hundred yards out. Dad saw a lot of deer and he happened to see the one buck that we call camel. We don't have a lot of pictures of him, but we've had pictures of him for the past few years. Very infrequent. We're gonna head out Find this buck, he said it was a good shot. That's what happens on Halloween. Right, Dad? Oh, yeah. I'm not sure where he ran in. I know he ran in somewhere. I don't think it was this far down. I think it was going up here. But you think you see blood coming in, huh? You got blood? Yeah. It's right here. Not that much. There was a drop. Well, look at that. I'll be damned. That's what happened. I, I think I'll be pulling through a little bit and you see the exit there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all the camel back all right. Look at that. Wow. So I, I take it that you shot through right here and yep. you can't. Yeah, we'll see and turn him over. That's a perfect shot. I don't know how you can... Yeah, but he was I think what happened was he was quartering a little bit forward. Hence the exit wound. But he is an old toad. Yeah, that's a big old seven point. A really nice. He's damn near a six point too. Right there. Look at that. He's been shredding on, on cedars. What? He's been shredding his antlers on cedars. That's awesome. See, that's what Halloween's all about. That's trick or treating for you. Yeah, and, and Penn State's in there losing right now. Well, that's not what Halloween's about. But 